Hello everyone and welcome to Wine Raccoon. Today we will be sipping on Ape Loco Pinotage. This is a 2020 from South Africa and this is supposed to have notes of vanilla, mocha, and caramel. So let's go ahead and take this one for a spin. I haven't even tasted it yet. First thing to note, this has a very strong scent. It's very much got a caramel mocha-y smell to it. So I'm pretty excited. Hmm. You really get that mocha on the back of the tongue, and you get that caramel in the back sides of the tongue. They meld together very, very well. You do get a little bit of vanilla toward the front of your tongue. All of the notes are definitely there, in my opinion. Um, hmm. The smell of the wine doesn't quite pair with the taste of the wine. And as many people know, smell is a huge portion of taste. So I will say that that bit is, is throwing me off a little bit. If I breathe in while I'm about to take a sip, um, huh. Yeah. So, <clears throat> This is not particularly dry. It doesn't, it doesn't really make your mouth feel dry too much. Um, it's not terribly sweet. It's a little sweet, um, especially for a red. I will definitely give it that. It is sweet for a red. Um, but the flavors are not quite as pungent as the aromas are. Hmm. I do like this, but yeah, the the aromas are, are just big. It's hard to place the aromas. It's almost like it's it's like an overpowering mocha, and I know it's just thought that like that can't be a bad thing, but um, it's all things in moderation, as they say, since wine, right? All things in moderation. Hmm. Okay, well. I do like it. It's not, it's not terribly acidic either. It's not dry. It's not acidic. It doesn't give you a whole lot of pucker. It's just, it's, it's there. The flavors are there. Yeah. I don't know if you, I mean, if you are a coffee drinker, if you like vanilla and mocha and caramel and like those really nice, you know, sweet uh, additions to your coffee, you would probably like this. Um, a little thing to note is that when I went to take a picture of this label for the um, thumbnail for YouTube, um, it actually does come up just like uh, a QR code. So you are able to buy it online. So that's, pr that's actually a pretty, uh, pretty cool thing. Um, so in theory, if you were to pause this and try to scan that, it would come through. All right, well, it's got the flavors. I do feel like, you know, it's, it's recommended that the, this be paired with things like dried fruit, teriyaki and desserts. I absolutely agree with that. I think that the, the notes in this would go really well with teriyaki. That's actually exactly what I was thinking with this, so consider it. Um, but I think that's, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to leave you with that today. Hopefully that was even helpful at all <laughs> on a scale of zero to five. Zero being I never want to drink this again and five being I want to drink this every day. 
Um, I'd give this a three. It is a solid middle of the road wine. Um, and if you've tried this before, let me know in the comments. Tell me, you know, tell me what you think about this. So if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And I look forward to having a sip again with you soon.